Hey my friends, I'm here to do another wig chat with you guys today. Today I want to talk about um, wigs and what they feel like when they're dirty, why wigs might start clumping up or not looking like they look once when you first get them out of the box and what you can do about that, but also helping you to set your expectations because at the end of the day, in the wig wearing journey, a lot of what this is about is having realistic expectations. And when we don't, we are opening ourselves up for disappointment and wig wearing is challenging enough so if we can get our expectations set correctly, that's really going to help a lot. So in this video, I'm going to show this wig, Isabella. I'm going to talk about the, and how she's moving. I'm going to talk about some of the things that impact how wigs change over time. And then I'm going to wash Isabella and I'm going to come back and show you how that makes a difference. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. So let's get started. First of all, wigs come to us, synthetic wigs is where my experience is. This may be true of human hair wigs. I really don't have a lot of experience with human hair. Synthetic wigs come to us with a manufacturer applied silicone coating on the fibers. It's what makes them feel really awesome out of the box. When you hear us talk about how the fibers are so soft and so silky and all of that in reviews, it's because it has that coating on them. You can't, you can't feel a coating, but it's what makes them feel so great. It does wear off over time and no silicone spray that you can purchase will replace it. It is a manufacturer process and it's not something that we can duplicate as a consumer. That said, it is, um, it can make wig wearing a challenge because after you wear a wig for a little while and it starts to feel different, you may think that it's, it's deteriorating or that there's something else wrong with it and it's really just that coating wearing off. I know it's really unfortunate because we all love the feel of a new wig out of the box, especially the nice brand name wigs that are a little bit higher end. That is tremendous and we all wish that it would stay. So here's kind of level set expectation number one, it won't stay. Um, but I think a good part, a good news I, th I guess I would say is that um, the way the wig feels to you in your hand is not translated directly into how the wig looks. And so I have some wigs that are really getting old. I have a girl mono that I've been wearing for a year and a half. She's probably been worn at this point I don't even know, 90 times, I mean, like she's just going and going and going. When I feel her, she's feeling dry, but she looks fantastic and she looks super realistic. And that is what's most important really, is how does, she, how does the hair look and appear to others? And they're not touching your hair, hopefully. So you know what I mean? So that's the other part that where you're level setting your expectations. How a wig feels to us doesn't necessarily mean that it looks terrible to someone else. So if it looks good, you're good. And we need to start getting our heads into that part of it. So let me talk a little bit about Isabella. This is Isabella Mano by Belle Madame. And this wig has been worn about 10 times now. I try to wear my wigs 7 to 12 times before I wash them because washing them does shorten their life. It's like clothing, after a while, clothing may start to pill or um, stretch out. You know, washing does, uh, it, I don't wanna say it damages things, but it just, it's it's it shortens life. So I try to wash my wigs very infrequently. Something I'm noticing with Isabella is her movement is not as flowy. Like when I did this initially, she just flowed beautifully. Now she flows more like clumps. She's starting to clump together. Why does that happen? Well, <laughs> the, the fibers are gathering dirt, just like your clothes will gather dirt from the air, uh, from the environment. That happens to our, our hair fibers. These are fibers. In addition, the more you touch the hair, I touch my hair a lot uh, throughout the day. I'm going like this when I run to the bathroom and rearranging the fibers. Anything on my fingers, the oils from my skin, anything that I've uh, accumulated on my fingers is being deposited into the hair. It's coating the hair. The air, you know, every, all of our air is a little different depending on where you live. If you live in an area where there's a lot of fires, which there are right now, then 
any of those minute smoke particles, even if you can't really see them, coating the hair. Uh, pollen, coating the hair. On and on. Dust in the environment, coating the hair. Uh, so, you know, walking around, going to a restaurant, I mean, I'm just, think about how much can get on the hair fibers to coat them. And then it starts to explain why you get the clumping. They start to get dirty. Throw on top of that if you use products. I try to use very little product on my wigs, including conditioning sprays. I do not spray my wigs after every wear. I sometimes, this I think I've used a little John Renault Peace Out Cream in the front, but I have not sprayed Isabella down with conditioning spray yet. I don't think wigs for the most part need that on a regular basis. I, I really don't. Um, the older she gets, the more I may need to do that. If I wanted to extend her life and not wash her yet, I might spray her, but that coats the fibers. And you will get many different opinions on this. Mine isn't always, it's that, that my opinion doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. It's just my preference. It allows me to try to get to that 12 wears, the less I coat these fibers with product. So hairspray, styling creams, conditioning sprays, anything that you put on the wig is coating the fibers and it will eventually cause less flow and a little bit of clumping. That said, Isabella still looks amazing. I wore her yesterday and I got like four people complimented me on my hair. They can't see, I'm not, I'm not shaking my head around. They can't see the clumping. They're not touching the hair and it looks wonderful. I love this wig. She looks beautiful. But she's just not flowing. I can feel it. It almost feels like the fibers feel a little heavier. And it's because she's been coated with the environment. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go wash her. And then I'll come back and film the second half of this video so that you can see. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. You know, video is a, a tricky thing. Uh, but at the end of the day, I really want you to start kind of thinking about these things from a more of a scientific standpoint versus an emotional standpoint. Wig wearing is so emotional, so emotional. And it really is a tough journey for some of us. And our expectations sometimes are based on those emotions and not necessarily on reality. And so please keep that in mind and understand kind of the mechanics of the fibers and how they're made and what happens to them. If you, I've seen this too in, in Facebook posts and Instagram posts, people will say, I only wore this wig twice and now it's feeling dry and clumpy. Um, what's happening in your environment and what you're putting on your wigs, what's on your hands when you touch them, will vary even day to day. And while I don't think most wigs should be clumping up after two wears, who knows what your wig got exposed to in those two days. Um, you know, maybe it needs a wash. I just, honestly, I think it's rare for a, a high-end name brand wig to start doing this within just a couple of days. But without knowing exactly what your wig experienced, what's going on in your environment, what's going on in your house, how dusty your air is, is it heated air, is it cooled air, do you have your windows open, and is there a ton of pollen out? I mean, there's so many variables. And you may have only worn the wig twice, but has the wig been sitting out on a wig head for a long time? Has it been exposed to the air for a while? That will impact it as well. And that's why I try to keep my wigs in their boxes unless they're in current rotation to protect them from the environment. All right, guys, stick around. I'm going to get this baby washed up and dried, and then I'll come back and wrap up this video. All right, everyone, I thought I'd show you really quickly washing this wig so that you can see what the water looks like to really bring home the point I made about the fibers being coated. I'm assuming this water is going to look dirty. So let's hope that's the case. That's usually what happens. So I take my shampoo and I usually put it in my hand. I do about, I don't know, a tablespoon's worth of shampoo. And I just kind of get it in the water and I swish it around. I get the water nice and soapy and get the shampoo dissolved. So you can see the water is clear right now. 
So now I'm gonna take my wig and I'm just gonna submerge it into the water. And I do like to um, gently pick it up and dunk it into the water and pick it up and dunk it into the water a few times. I don't grab it by the lace. I kind of grab it um, kind of by the sides and back. And then I just kind of, I don't agitate it. I just go up and down. Can you see that water's already starting to look a little dirty, a little murky? Quite honestly, I probably would have worn this wig a few more times, but, um, cause it really was still doing okay, but I have worn it, like I said, about 10 times. And so I really wanted to show this to you guys. Look at that water. All that is the coating on it. So now I'm just gonna let it soak for a bit. Sometimes I'll rub inside the cap, not the lace, but I'm rubbing in the wefting because that rests on your head and that can get oils from your hair, sweat, do the nape. Um, I might gently rub the front of the lace. I'm not really rubbing it. I'm just smoothing it because you know you can get makeup in there. And then I'll let that soak for about five minutes before rinsing. So even just after that short time, I'm gonna get my camera a little closer here for you guys. Even after that short time, can you see that water has gotten dirty? It doesn't even look as dirty on camera as it does in the water. All that was coating this wig. And that's what makes the fibers start to feel different and get clumpy. So washing definitely will help. So I'll come back and we'll see what we got. All right, everyone, I am back and I have washed up Isabella and she washed up awesome. And here's where I'm not sure if this will come across on video or not, but she is so much more flowy and soft and like she doesn't feel clumpy when I do that. I don't know if she appears much different in this two-dimensional world, but I've got to tell you guys, I can feel a big difference. I really can. She just feels so much cleaner and fresher. That's the only thing I can say. And she washed so great. Synthetic fibers, generally, these nicer wigs, you know, all of these nicer brands, they definitely wash up well. They can be really scary to wash, though, because when you're washing them, they can kind of look like they're not going to bounce back. <laughs> they get clumpy looking and the fibers don't feel very good when they're wet and it can be really nerve wracking. But I did nothing to Isabella. Nothing. I washed her. I squeezed the water out with a towel, just kind of wrapped her up in a towel and squeezed the water out. And then I shook her upside down really vigorously. I do that with all of my wigs, especially this length. Long wigs, a little bit of a different story. But with a, a shorter wig like this, I just shake it out super vigorously. Uh, and then I scrunch. I do a ton of scrunching like this while the wig is upside down. And then I hang upside down to dry. And once it's dry, this is what I got. I didn't do anything to her, nothing at all. I put her on my head. Well, okay, I lie. I finger combed her, <laughs> you know, and I put her on my head and I just finger combed her. And this is what you get. She just looks better. She feels better. So the purpose of this video, the whole point of this video is to help you to start to understand how wigs can behave out in the wild and uh, air and, you know, pollution, uh, I don't know, air, your hands, oils on your hands, all kinds of things get on these hair fibers and they can weigh them down and make them look a lot less beautiful than when you first got it out of the box. No matter what though, um, the silicone coating on wigs will start to wear off. So the wig will never feel quite as soft and silky as it may have felt fresh out of the box. And that is just the nature of the beast. But other than that, if you have a wig and you're struggling and you think it's getting dry before it's time, I would consider giving it a good wash, use good quality products and see what happens. I know some people recommend 
wool light and fabric softener. I personally don't use those. I did try fabric softener a few times early on. I didn't really like the way it made my wigs feel, so I don't tend to use those products, but it kind of makes sense that they might work because these are fibers. Uh, but at the end of the day, some of it is going to be experimentation. I absolutely love Belle Madame products with all my heart. This is a Belle Madame wig. I love their shampoo and their, especially their balsam conditioner. Uh, but I have a wig sister who I dearly adore and um, we have a lot of similar tastes in wigs, but she doesn't particularly care for that brand of shampoo and conditioner. She likes the Aesthetica brand and so some of this is personal preference. I think the Aesthetica brand is great as well. So I would just say, you know, learn which products you like, but at the end of the day, wigs need to be washed eventually. So just kind of keep that in mind. All right, guys, enough. I don't need to talk anymore. Hope this was helpful for you. I love this wig, so I will uh, put the information in the description about where you can pick up uh, Isabella Mano. And other than that, I hope you have a great day and thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon.